Alright yo, what's good everyone, Nick Smith is back today. Another episode of the Los Angeles Lakers My Gem series. As you can see, DeMarcus Cousins is injured right here. And it won't be the first time or the last time somebody gets injured in this episode. Now, we got this man Luel Deng injured for 6-8 to eight weeks. If anybody knows how to fix all the injuries, comment down below. Because this shit is driving me insane. Everyone is getting injured and don't even look now Kobe's injured for eight to ten weeks and don't even comment Fix the training intensity and do all that kind of stuff because trust me I've tried that and I even tried again right here as you can see I tried something different I know this is how this isn't how most people do it But I'm doing this anyway just to make sure that nobody gets injured But it doesn't even work everyone gets injured. It's absolutely insane I don't know how to fix this everyone seems to get injured which is really annoying DeMarcus Cousins is back, which means we can actually hop into a game now. And then Julius Randle gets injured. Are you kidding me right now? So, luckily I have the option to make him play through the injury. And what I did was I simulated some more games, and which meant that I could uh, make Julius Randle heal throughout those games. And I decided to face up against the Oklahoma City Thunder because I feel as if the Oklahoma City Thunder are going to be good. And then I would look at them, they're all 11th. I'm like, no way the Thunder are 11th in everything. And then I find out, look at their small forward. It's not Kevin Durant. So where could Kevin Durant be? Oh wait, he's injured. Everyone gets injured in this. It's insane. Six to eight weeks for Durant. So I'm like, nah, let me face up against a better team. I'm facing up against the Warriors. This will be a test. This is testing me right now. Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, bring it on. So taking a look at the Warriors, they got Curry, Thompson, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, Jamin Green, Jason Smith, Iggy, Harrison Barnes, Drew Baylors, Fester Cezili, Kent Bazemore, Kevin Looney, J James Michael McAdoo, Pat Canonington, whatever his damn name is, but they don't even have the Bogue, they don't have Andrew Bogut, where's Andrew Bogut man? I'm from Australia, Andrew Bogut's from Australia, he should be on this Golden State Warriors team, because he wants to win some championships, bring them down back to Australia. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, it's sad to see Andrew Bogut not on the Warriors. I wonder where he is actually. I got it. Maybe he's injured. Actually, I wouldn't even be surprised. Do you know? Do you know how much this guy gets injured? Andrew Bogut always has some sort of injury. Get that out of here! Don't come in this paint. This game is the reason why I waited for Demarcus. I waited for his injury to heal down. Because I need him to beast. It's the only way I'm going to win. Yeah, I've got Kobe. Yeah, I've got Oladipo. Yeah, I've got D'Angelo Russell. But no, none of them do what DeMarcus Cousins does. Just get out of this house, man. Get out of the Lakers' place. Get out of this arena. Just, just get out. <laughs> DeMarcus. I had to come out firing with DeMarcus Cousins. It was the only way for me to even get close with the Warriors. But this is what I like about Myers Leonard. Just that three-point rage. Now, Myers Leonard doesn't get many minutes, only because he's that third backup off the bench as the center position. This guy, J.R. Smith, I promise this is on Hall of Fame. It's what happens when you run plays in this game. What I've realized, there's, by the way, I found out two things playing my, my GM recently. Number one, you can travel and the refs won't call it, and I can do a demonstration in another video. Alright, I can properly do a demonstration of how to travel. If you guys want to see a demonstration, like a, a tutorial video, on how to travel every possession in my in uh, just any 2K, I will show you how to do it. It's such a glitch. 2K, I don't know how you can make something like this happen. That was almost a posterizer right there. Jamin Green, though, this guy's money. He do, he dominates in the last quarter. You're going to see that happen. But um, Oladipo, hand down, man down. Where's the defense? He's going to make a rain every day of the week. But yeah, I can make a tutorial if you guys want to see on how to travel every possession. And another thing I also found out is that Boogie is something else in this game. No, that, that, that wasn't even what I was going to say. I was going to say something else. But I completely forgot what I was going to say. So it might come back to me during this episode. It might not. I have no idea. But let's start out in the second quarter. Oh, this is the third quarter actually. 34 to 31. We're down by three. So I take this step back with... D'Angelo Russell from downtown making it a tie game now. Seth Curry doing what he does best, scoring. I mean, 
doing what he does best would have been taking that three-point shot and getting it to four, but he just scores. Steph Curry just scores. He's uh, he's crazy. And uh, Boogie. Anything else I want to say about Boogie? 18 points already. This guy's basing. And look at us. Blocks per game at the bottom. That's what I like to see. We're first in most of these categories over the last 30 days. But in the next episode, it's going to be a trade episode. And it's going to be pretty much my trade deadline video. Now, it won't be a trade deadline. But it will be like a trade deadline video, if you know what I mean. I go out and make a whole bunch of trades. And you're going to see why. But what I want to say is that we really, really need to sort out this team. We have a lot of shooting guards that... Oh, yeah. Now, okay, okay. I'll come back to this later. But I finally remember what I was going to say. If you run a play in 2K, you automatically pretty much get the shot in. Like, I run a whole bunch of plays with J.R. Smith, and he literally didn't miss. That's how that shot before went in, when he was really contested. I just ran a play for him, and he got it in. And uh, this is just money from JR. JR Smith, he, he's really good in this. He's like the new Gerald Green for me. Because Gerald Green didn't want to sign back. <laughs> Gerald Green, man. Well, I wanted him back on this team. But he didn't want to sign back. So I got JR Smith instead. And I like playing with JR Smith. Steph Curry, just, <laughs> just doing the regular Steph Curry right there. But yeah, I got a lot of plays at the same position. And it's something I've got to work on. And uh, I've got to really adjust and get a lot more depth in this series. And look at JR Smith doing some fancy layout right there but uh yeah i gotta get a lot more depth in this because we just have players getting injured all the time and this is pretty much where draymond green goes off he gets the rebound right here puts it up gets that to go draymond green i tell you what i want julius randall to be like i want julius randall to be like a draymond green flopping right there is a no-go when you're up against victor oladipo look at that rhyme right there but yeah he slams in your face and uh, Vic Dolladepo didn't actually do too much in this episode. And he has been complaining a lot in this series. D'Angelo Russell from downtown. Six point game right now. Make it a five point game right here. Steph Curry getting that crazy lap to go. He always does that in 2K. And you literally cannot block it. It's crazy. He's so good. Draymond Green again. He's just buckets. He is just a beast in this game. How do I stop this? <laughs> Steph Curry is just amazing in this game. I couldn't defend Steph Curry. I get a nice strip right here. Batum and Deng, they're two players that will get traded. I've already said it before, but I'll say it again. They're not here to stay on the team. I got them at free agency just to make them trade bait. They've stayed on this team for about half the year so far, but they're not really doing much for me anyway. They're, the only reason why I have... Um, and look at this. Like three seconds left and I finally make a fadeaway three with J.R. Smith. But it's not enough time. The Golden State Warriors obviously come out with this win. But yeah, the reason why I had Batum in the starting lineup is because literally I had no depth. I had J.R. Smith, which I could have put in the starting lineup. But I decided not to, which was kind of stupid because J.R. Smith, I, he did he did have a J.R. Smith game. 4 for 11, but Oladipo went 4 for 14. I can't get his release right. Batum went 2 for 3. He actually had a decent game, but he's not here to stay. And I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out. Peace. Trading goes down in the next episode.